This is Adam Miller, your movies correspondent and associate producer for the RPM Show, bringing to you another new story in the world of movies. Now, this story I actually reported on when we recorded our show on Wednesday, so you can look forward to hearing that when the show hits the website soon. Now, this story is in regards to a movie that is very up and coming. In other words, it's in the pre-production phase stage yet. It hasn't started filming yet, so roughly the prompted... Actually, the proposed start date for filming is said to be sometime in the spring of this year. And with that being said, the re proposed release date for the movie is probably sometime in 2012. So, just want to let you know that firsthand. Now, the movie in question is a film version of the classic TV show called Dark Shadows. Now, a few words on what the show was for those of you who may not know it. Dark Shadows was a uh, TV show that was a toned in a soap opera. In other words, the show was a soap opera. But the tone of the show was very dark, and it was surrounded with a gothic, mysterious, and really supernatural storytelling tone. Now, the show itself lasted between the years of 1966 and 1971 on the network ABC. And in that time period, they filmed over 1,225 episodes. Now, these episodes... Um, generated various story tones that ranged from vampires, werewolves, um, witches, ghosts, monsters, zombies. They dealt with every single um, element of the macabre storytelling on this show. And they did it in various uh, tones, various ways. And the story tone was just, it was flooded with all these macabre settings. So that's what the show was about. Now the movie version, what we can tell you so far is that two things are a definite lock. Is that this will be the eighth collaboration between, I think, one of the greatest director-actor teams in Hollywood. And that is, the film is going to be directed by Tim Burton, and it will star Johnny Depp as the character Barnabas Collins. Now, Barnabas Collins was on the show, played by actor Jonathan Freed, and Barnabas Collins was also the main vampire character on the show. So that's where the vampire thing came into play. Now, one thing I, can, I, I think is very important to know about Johnny Depp's involvement in this uh, production is that he is said to be, actually he has quoted, been quoted as saying that he is an enormous fan of the show and he has been working on getting a film version of the show in the works for uh, close to a few years. So this is actually, I think, probably going to be a dream project for Johnny Depp. And of course, for Tim Burton, this uh, project that I think is right up his alley. Now, Tim Burton is... You know, famous for doing very uh, supernatural, like very dark, very um, strange, uh, you know, themed movies like Sweeney Todd, uh, Beetlejuice, you know, a lot of rather dark stuff. So now the cast news that I have to report on this movie so far is that two, we have two actors that are currently in talks to join the movie. Now they haven't been confirmed yet, so they might decide no or they may decide yes. Hopefully, I think that they're. they're Two great actors who I think deserve to be in a movie like this. Now, the first on the list is Eva Green. Eva Green, who we all know from playing Vesper Lind on the James Bond movie Casino Royale. She is uh, in talks to play a witch. Now, the name escapes me for the moment, but I can tell you is that this character is the witch who actually put the vampire curse on Barnabas Collins. And actually, on the show, there was a love relationship on there, from what I hear, on the show between those two characters. So... If they transfer that to the movie, that could be rather interesting as well. Now, the other actor that I can tell you is rumored to be in talks for this movie is Jackie Earl Haley, who you may know as the uh, recent Freddy Krueger from the recent reboot or remake of Nightmare on Elm Street, and he was also in Martin Scorsese's uh, movie, Shutter Island. So I don't know what... It hasn't been said what role he is linked to, uh, linked to sign to play, but uh, I can tell you that he is rumored to be in talks to join the movie. So those are the two actors that I can that are in talks to join the movie. Now I, now I said before, Tim Burton and Johnny Depp are a definite lock for this movie. So hopefully, as I said, filming will commence probably in the spring. So they've got a while to start, you know, get their casting director to cast more people. Now, as now my connection to the show is simply this: I watched a few episodes of this show when it was on the Sci-Fi Channel back when I moved into this house back in the early 90s. And I do remember some of the, you know, I do remember some elements of the show, like the vampires. I don't remember any werewolves, but the, but I definitely remember the vampires. Now, I do remember vaguely uh, the, the 
macabre tones and you know I do remember Jonathan Freed seeing him as Barnabas Collins. I don't. I think I may have seen him as a vampire. I'm not sure. But as I said, it's been a while. Um, I'm. I'm not sure if Dark Shadows, the show, is still on syndication runs anywhere. It probably is. I don't know what. Uh, but I don't know what channel it is. So you can look for it. Look for it on DVD. I think it's on DVD. So look for it on there. Now, I want to know what you think about this upcoming movie version of Dark Shadows. Do you are you for it or are you against it? And if so. Were you a fan of the original series or were you not? So email me at adam at show.com and also check out the website, therpmshow.com. Uh, you can check out our links to Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, Blueberry, um, pod, Hub Pages, and of course you can download our download streamed podcasts of our shows on iTunes. And so, you know, let your voice be heard. Email me. I really want to know what you think. And, you know, leave comments on YouTube where you can check out all of our other videos that are on there. We've got a lot of them, so check those all out in your timely leisure. So until next time, when I bring to you another news story, which hopefully will be soon, um, I will see you again next time.